guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines so we're getting towards the tail end we only got uh two more episodes after this to do so we'll probably be working on logistics um after this video because we only have a couple places left to build and we'll probably be building that today most likely so uh, my plans were uh if we look at the uh terrain heights uh we could probably fit something in here for our like a small settlement or something like that and it's right near the highway so that should work and then we have this side over here so that's pretty much the same size as that so we should be able to fit a pretty decent town in there and that will allow us to get some more extra traffic going this direction at the moment a lot of people are just taking the long route i guess that's where most of this population comes from though just kind of come around all over this part and over here uh, we could definitely do that i think uh, we just need to be careful about the height of the train or we might end up flooding it i think this might be upstream maybe it's downstream i don't know but we should still be careful on where we put the um height and stuff obviously this isn't as high as we need it but it should work and we still have 9,000 so we're doing good we might uh, work on some stock exchange stuff today too so we're gonna set that to probably a medium one I'm gonna just test yeah we should be able to flatten that out to that point So we'll put a settlement over on this side. That should give us plenty of room to work with. And then what we can do is we can focus on the other one um, today as well. So that's a couple big settlements that we can fit in here. I will need to get rid of the trees and then start laying down roads. I just like removing the trees so there isn't like a fire risk if we like have stuff so close that's why I usually do it
And so we got this part all set up. We got a little bit of ore industry in here, uh, mixed in with some leisure, uh, followed by some, uh, what do you call it? The financial office buildings. So that kind of builds it up towards the water here, which I was trying to do. Um, I like how it outlines the uh, posh mall too, right? It's right in the middle of there. Uh, kind of gives a good impression of <laughs> how uh, financial, you know, people can afford that kind of thing. So it's perfect for the posh mall right there, actually. And then we got uh, residential over on this side. So we got a whole bunch of uh, things here. We do got a lot of policies and stuff that build up this area. Um, small and large business things as well as uh, industrial space planning, our general taxes, and um, our district stuff, recycling, parks and recreation, uh, boost for that. Uh, we also got um, no electricity for heat, uh, waste um, treatment, and uh, industry 4.0, which allows us to reduce the amount of people needing to work in these facilities, the industrial ones. And what else do we have here? We have Old Town, which I think makes it so tourists have to transit in. NIMBY, which I needed for the, um, what do you call it? The uh, I can't remember the leisure district. And then there was the high-rise band, just so these ones didn't get out of control. So that's basically what I set up for that. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, definitely could do a couple screenshots with how it's laid out like this. It looks really good. So got the little industry, some minor buildings, and then it just like spikes right up there. And once these ones start developing a little bit higher, then we'll get some medium rises like that, so it'll look really good. I'll give that time to develop, and then we can start working on uh, over here. We might even be able to fit one more town over on this side. Uh, we'll see if we can't do that. Um, maybe next episode? I'm not sure if we're going to have time for it today, but uh, we can give it a try next episode and see what we can do with that. Uh, up here is basically like an old castle. I want to leave this in just because it looks really good and um, It's on a hill, so it's not like we can really make use too much of it unless we like flatten it out But I don't want to do that
so what I got in was, um, what is this, uh, Ziggurat Garden? I don't know what that means, but it's like a garden, I guess, like a building garden. Looks nice. It's kind of like a temple, so I thought I would put that in. It actually fit right in where the roads were, so that's perfect. Then I put an expo center over on this side. We'll have commercial over on this side, I think. And that should um, keep it away from the residential. So because it does have a noise pollution level, we just don't want to keep it too close to the residential. So we'll probably put some commercial around there. And I've just been kind of planning out this area. I just finished building a school. So um, a little hard to see at night, but... We have um, some trees outlining the fence area, and I put a path in from the sidewalk over to the end here. It's a high capacity. We're running a little bit low on the elementary. High school's doing okay, though, so we should be good for that. Uh, I put it right on the bus loop, so any people coming in by bus will be able to get directly to there. And I think what we should probably end up doing is starting to plan out uh, how we're going to connect these up with alternate routes because we're going to start needing something other than a bus because our buses are going to start getting pretty populated. I mean, there's already 70 people on this and this is a, like a small area to go to, right? So uh, if we go over here, it's probably even worse. Yeah, I mean, there there's definitely a demand for better transportation in this area, I think. Um, so we could go with subway. That would be one method of getting it done, I guess. Um, probably underground because the above ground stuff is pretty hard to work with. Um, though, I'm almost wondering. Yeah, we'll just go with the underground stuff. Uh, we'll probably hook up all of them right so maybe you do a loop around uh for all the settlements so we'll start here go here go here go there go there go there go there and then go here i think that would probably work or we could even start over here and then go over to the main one or something like that i don't know uh we do need a option here so people can get directly onto the bus i think so we'll put one there and as far as this is considered we can there's our bus loops right here right so okay that's agriculture area we probably fit it in somewhere around here this is all agriculture
right, so we got our little settlements done. Uh, we got the, uh, basically this district in. There's commercial over on this side. Some office buildings as well. And then there's residential, um, high capacity res or elementary school, a garden. And then just to top it all off, I put a, our first zoo in. So it's, um, basically probably going to be the only zoo. It's not like a huge one, but we were able to put a uh, birdhouse, um, antelope an enclosure, uh, some general a plaza, zoo souvenir shop, restrooms, and cafe. We also got a uh, Tarsier house, whatever that is. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe monkey enclosure or... I'm not entirely sure what's in there actually. Might be monkeys, might be something else. And then we got a insect and amphibian or ants, insect, amphibian, and reptile house, so... Oh, and almost forgot, the uh, moose and reindeer enclosure, so... Uh, that kind of tried to keep the, the biomes close to what they would be like for the enclosures, so they kind of spaces out the zoo as best as possible. So, I think I did pretty good, but... Outside that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Now, remember, we only have two more episodes left. We have uh, this one over here, where we're going to build that one settlement. And then we'll probably start focusing in on logistics and, um, you know, transportation and stuff like that for uh, some of the higher traffic issues. Now, because we got quite a bit of... Um, stuff going on there might need there might needs to be some general optimization in this general area uh there's a lot of uh intersections and stuff going on in this one section so might need to improve that a little bit but um yeah and just general optimization i'm sure it's getting pretty busy yeah <laughs> it's backlogged so we will need to improve it a little bit and see if we can't get um some traffic uh, sorted out because this is like back-to-back -back traffic and we need to get people onto the highway and stuff so probably the last episode we'll work on that specifically trying to get people on and off but I'm not sure how it will turn out <laughs> we could try to fix this and it could just make things worse so who knows outside that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching